Joseph Moreland, Cincinnati, Ohio, reading for the part of Bill Austin. I'm glad to get off that boat. What, that? Ah, that was nothing. You should try a kayak in the Okavango swamps. <laughs> yes, I read your book, A Bloat and a Boat in Botswana. That was you? <laughs> Thanks, Harry. You know, I heard I sold a copy somewhere. <laughs> Travel books are my passion. Oh. I was dreading bedding down with the goats. Oh, give me goats before camels any day. One time on the Kalahari, the sun was beating down on Sorry the... Sorry to interrupt, Indiana, but the point is this is my taverna. This is something I scribbled on the back of a menu. I had no idea. How do you know it's yours? Buildings are like babies. You always know your own. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about babies. I've been living out of the backpack my whole life. Do you think the island will inspire some prose? Oh, I hope so. When I got the wedding invite, I sold my editor a piece on Childhood Haunts Revisited. <laughs> Were you born here? No, I wasn't. I'm from the U.S., but my mother's Greek. Nah, the only time I came to Greece was uh, when we visited my uh, great aunt on the mainland, and that was uh, that was 21 years ago. So now you can write about Sam's Taverna, and the tourists will flock. Ah, uh, no, nah, I'm kind of hoping this this little island remains the the secret idol I've I've always remembered. Thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. Thanks for all the joy they're bringing. Who can live without it? I ask in all honesty. What would life be without a song or a dance? What are we? So I say thank you for the music, for giving it to me.